What's up guys, it's Cody here for this week's video. I'm going to be assembling the E3D V6 hot end. It's going to be the hot end I'm using for 3 Brand Technologies custom build printer. So I'm going to be assembling this from uh, scratch. It's a kit built type assembly. Okay, so I got the bag of parts here. I'm going to open it up and separate them. So I have all of the parts right out here. So now we're going to start the assembly process. So I don't know if you can see this, but we'll get the hot end and the nozzle and screw it into place. Screw it all the way in and then loosen it a fourth to a half a turn. So next we're going to screw the heat brake to the other side. So it's up against the bottom piece of it. So next we'll attach the sensor to the hot end. So we're going to slide this piece into here like this, then I get a screw and fix it into place right here. This is what it look like with the sensor piece. Touch the screw on here, right here. This is what the screw looks like, it's really small. So next we'll get the heater cartridge, this piece, and attach it into here. Okay, so you tighten this screw up right here, so it gets pretty tight. So it it kind of looks like a deformation when you do it. So next we want to apply some of this heat sink compound right here to this inside piece of these thread. And then screw this in place. You don't want to use all of this because it's more than you need. So the next step should be to insert the PTFE tubing to this right here. But I don't think this kit came with any so I'm going to skip that step and start attaching the mounts and fans cables to it. Okay so the next step is to get the fan and attach it to the hot end. So I've got the screws started already. So I'm going to orient the fan duct like this and I'm going to attach the fan to it. And then we're going to snap it onto the hot end piece. So this is what it's door crack. I have the hot end cover on price because it came with one. The next step would be to attach these cables. These two cables and that's pretty much it. So now all that's left is to start the assembly for the custom 3 printer for 3 printing the technology. If you like this video and see your latest videos first, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.